I guess I'm a physio and fit as a physio. These are some taping techniques I use to prevent and treat injuries. So basically we're doing a buddy taping, strapping it to its buddy above and below the joint. So most commonly the ones you're going to pop are going to be your um, PIPs <laughs> um, compared to your DIPs. Um, and you will always go to the next biggest finger. So obviously if we're five, we're gonna to go to four. If we're four, we're gonna to go to three. If we're three, no, three I reckon you probably go back to four. Because sometimes having two and three together is a bit awkward. If you've got two, then the only option is to go to three. And then you might have some guys that are two and three and four and five and Mr. Star Trek. You know? <laughs> but depending on what sports they're playing, they need to be able to catch the ball. So the reason we do buddy taping is to still allow flexion extension of those joints, but you're just stopping that lateral shift. All right. Depending what size fingers they are, so if I use 25 mil on her, that's probably going to be a bit too big. So I might even have to go 38 and rip it in half, or even sometimes 25 ripped in half. Do you do 12 and a half? No, I don't. Just... Do you stop 12 and a half? No. So some companies do even stock 12 and a half mil, it's pretty tiny. Yeah, I'll just rip um, it. But yeah, normally I'll just rip it. <coughs> um, but for little fingers, you might want to just go, you know, half of your 38, and you're just going literally just once or twice around just to, just to stop that, that, um, that sort of lateral movement. And she can still bend, and, and you do one below and one above. It's pretty simple buddy taping. If you want to put a little bit of foam on the inside, you can for a bit of protection again, but in the game situation, do it quick.